um, just outside a, a Premier League stadium. But hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video and you find out why I'm outside Cow Road, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And also go follow my socials, the links to them will be down in the description as always. Anyway, we'll get into the Bournemouth review. Um, well, actually, should we get into first why I'm outside Cow Road, Will? Yeah, might as well, mate. Um, well, usually we film our, uh, our match reviews on a walk in the woods in the woods in the woods um, in the creepy today, woods in the creepy, creepy woods um, yeah. they're actually quite nice woods though aren't they Will hmm. I don't know but we they're, they're, they're bearable I just feel like you know anyway, we might come across a couple of dead bodies one day well, let's, let's stop we talking can, about the woods colour um, but yeah we're coming out like our road we're filming my uni project here anyway um, so I've decided let's film the Bournemouth review as well um, obviously Norwich are Premier League um, so the result doesn't really matter too much. We still have to win on Tuesday against Watford, which we expect we would have to do anyway to win the title. So um, yeah, it's not great, but it, it really is what it is. I mean, we still ex we still uh, expect to win the But yeah, we, we still expect to win Tuesday. Uh, cars just started up behind us, not ideal, but we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Um, but looking back on the game, there isn't. The first goal that we scored was absolutely brilliant. Five minutes in, we controlled the game for the first 15 minutes, and it looked like it was going to be another demolition um, for the opposition that was that was playing against Norwich, and that wasn't to be. Uh, the referee Graham Scott, who is in fact from Bournemouth, great signing for Bournemouth. Yeah, great signing for Bournemouth. Don't know how much they paid for him. Must be a fair bit. Um, sent off Demetrius Giannoulis after 16 minutes for what seemed like a 50-50. Um, if anything was a yellow car for Giannoulis um, on Ben Ben Pearson who I can't stand uh, to be quite frank with you um, but yeah it, it, that kind of ruined the game for me that absolutely ruined the game Norwich would have absolutely controlled it and steamrolled Bournemouth from then on in and instead in the second half you, you know you, you put two and two together ten men against eleven we were going to struggle in the second half uh, and we lost three one but you know we're, we're still promoted and it doesn't really matter too much um, but we'll go into the player ratings anyway, um, because that's what we do here. Uh, although I feel like they're kind of irrelevant now that we're the Premier League and we've gone up. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a strange one. Uh, but Tim Krull, six. Oh, he just let in three goals. I, I, yeah, it's just a bit. It's a, it's a struggle to give him any higher than a six. Max Aaron's a five, I'm afraid. Um, let Dan Juma get past him way too many times, um, and yeah, just didn't look great. When they had to cover his cover his ass multiple times in this game, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Uh, Andrew Omabamadeli, um, to be honest, our man of the match, I thought he was excellent again. Uh, looks so composed. Looks like he's played 200 league games for us, and not the four or five he's played for us. So for me, he's going to get a seven. Um, Grant Hanley played on an injury. It seemed got injured in the first half. Looked like he was ready to come off. Alex Teddy was stripped off, ready to come on uh, and feature in centre half once again. But Grant Hanley was like, "No, I'm going to come back on." I thought that resilience. I'm going to give him six and a half. Um, so yeah, still very good from him. Uh, Giannoulis, um, he got sent off, so it's very hard to give him over a two. Um, I'm going to give him. We'll give him a four. Do you know what? We'll give him a give four. Him a three. Three, three and a half. Three, 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 three point two five. Three point two five. Okay, we'll go three point two five for Dimitri Giannoulis. Got sent off. <laughs> I mean, although we don't agree with sending off, he still got sent off, so... Um, plum. No, he's not a plum. The referee's a bloody plum. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the centre midfield position to Ollie Skip. Five out of ten, if I'm honest. The, 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 um, the second goal, uh, Dan Juma scored, which was a fantastic strike, but he shouldn't have been allowed to get in that position, and Oliver Skip kind of just allowed him to, to glide past him. He was, was flat-footed, and I just don't think it was Skip's best game. So, five out of ten. Um, Kenny McLean, 6 out of 10, just went missing multiple times. Should have closed down Dan Juma's shot after he got past Skip and uh, just didn't get out, out quick enough. I was the better of the two midfielders, I felt, uh, and just contributed a little bit more going forward. Wendia, um, 6.5 out of 10, obviously scored that really, really good goal early in the game. Apart from that, he had one other chance, I think, and that was about it, really. Um, yeah, not really a lot to go off that. Um, Todd Campbell, 5 out of 10, ran his socks off, but apart from that, just didn't offer anything. Kieran Dow only played 60 minutes, they got substitute, so uh, we'll give him a 3.5 because he didn't get sent off, so we'll, we'll, we'll allow him the, two point, uh, the 0 0.25, won't we, Will? Mm. Um, We've got it. It's what it is. It is what it is. And uh, Tammy Pukie, just again, once we uh, went down to 10 men, it was very, very difficult for him. 
Um, so f five out of ten. I'm not going to rate the substitutes because they're probably all five out of tens anyway. Um, but yeah, it was a disappointing result on the night and a, a bit sweet end to that promotion sort of success that we experienced earlier in the day. But do we care? No, do we fuck? Because we're going to win the title on Tuesday against Watford um, and it's going to be it's going to be brilliant. It's going to feel brilliant and Norwich City are back in the Premier League. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, um, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And also, uh, go follow my social links to them in the bio. Also, go follow Will's social hey. too, who, uh, who comes on every Sunday to, to be my cameraman. Free of charge, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll buy you some. Yeah, some we're going to go for food, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's mainly why I'm here. Exactly, I, I, that's how I got And a scratch it. card, and please. A scratch card. Yeah, maybe a few scratch but cards. But when the fun stops, stop. No, keep um, going, it's great fun. <laughs> no, when the fun stops, stop. Um, but anyway, Norwich Premier League, and I uh, shall see you later.